in this question we have two principles principle 1 and principle 2 now principle 1 explains to us about the definition of bigamy and principle 2 is an exception to the above principle right now the facts over here are Radha was married to Aman in the year 2001 who was serving as an officer in the Navy in the year 2003 during a naval exercise off the coast of Singapore Aman's ship INS Chakra reportedly got caught in a sea storm and sank along with all its crew. Now, six years after the accident, Radha met Aniket and they fell in love. Radha had told Aniket about her previous marriage and about the unfortunate accident. In the year 2011, they decided to get married. During this time, she never heard of Aman being alive. Two days before her marriage to Aniket, Radha got the news that Aman was seen in Singapore. However, neither the source nor the news could be confirmed, right? Now, again, uh, as she was busy in the preparations of the marriage, and since more, seven, more than seven years had passed without any news of Aman being alive, Radha honestly believed she was, she was no more obliged by law to tell the same to Aniket. Radha contracts the marriage and is later prosecuted for bigamy. Decide whether Radha can be prosecuted for bigamy or not. Now, clearly in this question, the correct answer is B. That is, she cannot be prosecuted for bigamy. That is, B is the correct answer. Because as the news of Aman being alive came after seven years, and during that period, he was continuously absent. But therefore, Radha cannot be prosecuted for bigamy. Now, the reason why B is the correct answer is because if we read the principle 2, we get to know that above mentioned principle does not apply to any person who contracts a marriage during the life of the former spouse if such spouse this is the important point at the time of the subsequent marriage had been continuously absent for a period of seven years and shall not have been heard for being allowed, allowed alive during that period provided the person before contracting the marriage shall make aware the person with whom such marriage is contracted the real state of facts as the same are within his or her knowledge that is it was not within her knowledge, right? She actually got to know it after seven years, right? That Aman was alive after seven years. So clearly, she will not be prosecuted for bigamy, right? That is, principle two will be applicable over here. So applying principle two to the given set of facts, clearly the answer is B.